Hey guys, Matt here. Um, I wanted to do this uh, video just to kind of do a retrospective um, of my first actual experience with writing an actual book. Now, kind of the history here, um, I've written other stories. <laughs> I wouldn't really say books because um, I just, um, back then, I just kind of wrote them and threw them out there. I didn't you know, edit it. I didn't you know, I, I didn't really do much in terms of character development or anything. I just kind of like had the overall story, like, um, and and I just did it. Like, <laughs> I didn't like really pay attention too much on on different things, and I'd made a lot of mistakes um, with those past two books, um, which are also part of the Masters universe technically. So this book that is out now. Um, it's kind of like a follow-up to those stories. Um, I've done other things too as well, um, other kind of stories. Um, the Let's see, I've done stories for other games I want to make. Um, there's a st the st whole story about Saber and all his friends that take place before this book. You know, that's for a, that's going to be for a game. Um, uh, let's see. I've done stories for movies um that i i rather not movies but like film projects that i wanted to do in the past and some i have done as a kid and you will know, never they'll never see the light of day because well i mean they have but there it's on a vhs and i never want to like publicly show them because they're just really really embarrassing <laughs> when i was in like like sixth grade or something like that so um, i've done like a horror movie too and and I've also done uh, stories for failed film projects. Um, one, one of them was the Mission Arcadia video, which I'll put a link in the description. You can see that um, I, that was originally supposed to be an entire like show, and I was filming as a movie, and I just gonna, was gonna like upload it in kind of like parts. So I, uh, the reason why I failed is because I couldn't get you know actors. So sadly, that got shelved. But you know, at least I was trying to see if I can at least get. Um, I um like a pilot out and that's what so that's, that's why I did the video you know I, but yeah so anyways that's um basically the history of me writing so uh, going into this new book I've used that knowledge as well as knowledge that I've learned while watching movies and playing games and reading books and stuff uh, I because I really want to do that I really pay attention to the story I really pay attention to how the characters develop and everything um more so now. When I was a kid, I didn't really do that so much. I just enjoyed the overall story. So when I, that's what happened when I wrote my first Giant Two stories. I just did the same thing. I just I didn't care. Basically, didn't care too much about you know the, the development of a character or anything like that, other than Ton. I think Ton is the only one who really had any kind of character development. The rest of them were kind of just there in the background helping her out. So yeah. So I like I said doing what I learned. I going into this new one. I, I made sure that all the characters were there for a reason. Things that happen in the book are doing happening for a reason, not just there just for whatever reason. You know, I, I want to make sure that you know there was meaning behind it. Even if it was, even if it seems meaningless, it is still meaningful. You know, like there, there are some things in the book that are just like, oh, maybe that couldn't have been in there, but I still did it, left it in there, um, just because it, it did add to something. You know, even if it was just something like, oh, I got mad at you, but then I'm over it. Like that's just that's character development. You know, that's. That's, you know, that's the little things that uh, add to, um, to like a friendship or something. But yeah, so um, when I was working on the book itself, um, going into it, I originally I thought that this was going to be a short project. It was going to get it done in maybe a few months and then it'll be out and I'll be good to go. Um, that wasn't the case. I actually spent double the time it took to, oh, well, it was expected to actually write it. And uh, that's just because this was my first ever this is my first time actually writing an actual book you know but like i said beforehand i was just writing and throwing out there now i'm actually working on this i'm actually um you know trying to get this perfect and uh, i was expected to be done i started in august september ish somewhere around there i expected myself to be done by december and that wasn't the case you know flash forward to you know, july and now the book is coming out so it definitely took way longer. It was pretty, that's pretty much almost a year right there um, of just writing this book. I, while working on it, I couldn't play too many video games, watch movies, or go out. I mean, I did still do those things, you know, to take a break from everything because I was also doing it. I'm doing it on the side. You know, I got another project that I'm working on. Um, I got a um, 
like at work life you know because you know birthday parties and holidays and stuff like that takes away from that so and you know i, I kind of want that too i know i'm i'm not the person just like oh i gotta work like i gotta get this finished like screw everything i'm not gonna do anything until i finish this like i'm not like that i i i need that time to kind of relax myself and to step away uh from everything and just, just so I, I would you know pop in a movie when i got home from work or i would play a video game for an hour or two um, especially during crunch time, the 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 last month, all throughout the all throughout July, I really wasn't doing too much. I was, I I still did things, you know, to kind of, so I'm not crazy a hermit sitting in on my computer just writing and and that's all I'm doing, you know. I still took the time to step away from it and and play video games, but I was still like, I, I, okay, I'm only playing an hour. Like I gotta get this done. Like. Yeah, so I was in crunch mode, and it was because the kind of plans had changed. And uh, that was because originally, you know, after I wrote, uh, I think either the first or second draft is when I was going to hand it off to an editor. Um, I think it was actually technically I tried for the first, but then it didn't happen until the second draft. Um, when I was going to hand it off uh, to someone else to edit it for me. And I had, I had three people, um, you know, had asked to do it um well the first person said she you know she would do it and then stuff happened and she couldn't do it so i was like okay that's fine found someone else he <laughs> did the same exact thing he, he he took it and then like not too long after he's like that life i can't do it i'm like okay that's fine uh, and then i moved on to uh, i think the third person he actually got most of it done um, and then right at the end, again, life happened, he couldn't do it. I was like, wow, I just can't catch a break with these editors. Um, so I, I took what, um, uh, what was said, basically saying that, oh, there's just like, it's, the story's really good. I like the progression, the progression's good. It's just like, there's a lot of grammar errors and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'll just, I'll take what you had told me and I'll just, I'll just move on from here. Um, now that was back in June, <laughs> And I was so I was hoping that in the beginning of June I would give you know I would give the third editor um, uh, give it to him, and then he would work on it, and then I'd get back probably in a, within like a week, like a week or two, and then I would just finish it out and then get it out by another June. That's why I originally said oh, I'll be in another June. Well, it, it's just like weeks went by and weeks went by, and he still didn't do anything. It's like I'm still working on it, just the life and blah blah blah, and then eventually. I was like, you know, if life is really, you know, that bad right now, you don't have to do it. It's fine. I'll do it myself, and that's what happened. So, um, so I did the, uh, I, I did the third draft, and I did the final draft um, by myself, and I, I read it over and over and over and over and over again, like as much as I could. You know, I was in crunch mode, so I couldn't actually read it. I was kind of, I was more of less skimming through it and skimming through it and skimming through it. Um, just trying to trying to correct as much as I can, make sure that things are tied up nicely, um, the best as the best as I could. Um, it was just really hard. Now uh, you're probably sitting here wondering why didn't you just hire an editor? Well, the money is kind of tight right now, so I can't afford it. I did look into it, and they were wanting people want like I don't know, anywhere in between twenty to fifty dollars an hour. I'm working on the project, and I'm just working on the working on the the editing. I'm just like, that's, just, that's really pricey. That is really pricey. Um, like I don't even make twenty dollars an hour, <laughs> like on of normally in my normal job. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of drafts. There was four drafts uh, before I finished it. Um, and so when I finished it, it was such a relief. It was such a relief. Um, and and and, and not a relief. Um, like a like it was bad like a belief like wow it's just i i finished it it's it's something that i've done and now it's going to be out there i'm happy and excited and i'm just waiting and waiting now to see what people think about it and um yeah that's just like the kind of like a retrospective uh going into this um there was a lot of ups and downs and uh mostly ups though not too many downs which is good and uh, I am definitely, because of the experience, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, finishing out the series. I mean, I'm nowhere near finishing. <laughs> I, I still got two more books I got to do in just the main series. And then, as I said before, I want to start doing the anthology uh, series as well. Um, and who knows, after I finish that, I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, yeah, after I finish that, I might move on to other books as well. I don't know. I'm not sure. But uh, I am definitely... I definitely like writing, and I definitely want to continue writing. Um, now, uh, there will be... Um, 
there should be two more videos. Uh, one's going to be a live stream, um, which uh, that information will be on the Facebook page. Um, that's just going to be like a Q&A kind of thing. Um, I'll come up with some questions as well. But if you guys have any questions on the book, definitely let me know. Like a comment below and uh, let me know and then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll try to answer them. Um, and you know, if you have any questions right now, as you're watching this, but you have any question, you have questions going into the stream, you know, definitely let me know as well. Um, it, it, mostly it's going to be about the books. So if you have any questions about the book as well, like you read the book and things are like, oh, that doesn't make any sense or, or, uh, you know, why, why is this like this or stuff like that? You know, ask me and I'll go ahead and, you know, answer as best I can. Uh, things are left open for a reason because there are other stories in the, um, uh, in the series, you know, because there's two more books after this. There's other um, anthology series, so I I try to connect them as best as I can because I know that I have these ideas and I want to do those ideas. So I kind of tease those future ideas in the book itself. So I leave things open so they they then get followed up in these other stories. But yeah, yeah I'll answer them more specifically because you're probably wondering, well, why is this character do this? Well, I can actually tell you why. And then uh, there should be another video, not a live stream, just another announcement video. Yeah, they'll just basically uh, another announcement video explaining what's to come, uh, what to expect. But that's everything, guys. I do want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.